Welcome everyone to the big three. I am your host, Melody Dixon, and I'm the CEO and founder of Pro Event Planners, creating fabulous events on any budget. Today's big three is going to take the format of me sharing some information about myself. Three things about myself, who I am, how I got started, and what do I sell? So, I was born in the best island in the world, Jamaica. And uh, I grew up there until I was around 16. And then I moved to Amityville, Long Island. And then to the Bronx and to Brooklyn and then to South Florida for college. Uh, while I was in Jamaica, I went to St. Hughes High School. Big up to my Swan sisters. There is where I got the taste for event hospitality. There was a career day at the school and a lady from the Courtly Hotel in Kingston came to talk about her career. I think she was in like a catering manager. And I'm like, that is what I want to do. So uh, when I moved to South Florida for college, I was kind of not sure if I wanted to go uh, the culinary route of uh, event hospitality or go straight hotels. And I got into Johnson & Wales. I'm like, no, I, I love cooking. I can cook, but the hotel side was for me. And so that's what I did. And I have a degree in hospitality management, a degree in business administration. And I started off in hotels um, I think at the time it was the Hollywood Beach Hilton <clears throat> and started off as a PBX operator. That's the person that answers the phone. Thank you for calling the Hollywood Beach Hilton, Melody at your service. And from there, moved on to the Double Tree for front desk, another Double Tree for reservations. And I realized that the way I was being I was always, yes, I can do it, just put me in there. And I rose pretty quickly in the ranks. Um, always being promoted at some, sometimes at the properties, at the hotels, they had me doing two different positions because my answer was always yes and, both and. Yes, I can do it, put me in there, train me, I can support you. So sometimes while I was at the front desk, I was restaurant supervisor or at the front desk, I was also doubling up in banquets. And it's through these experiences of saying yes, finding solutions and just being all in with solving problems, creating things, I was promoted pretty quickly. So after college, I went to the Sheraton and that's where I did catering sales assistant and sales assistant. And it got to the point where the managers would just have me book the business for them. So I would prospect for them, uh, invite the client to the property for a site tour. I would run the BEO meetings and those are the banquet event order meetings where you would meet with the chef, the front desk, housekeeping, and anyone else in the hotel and talk to them about the events coming up and what each department needs to do. So as a catering sales assistant and sales assistant, they would feel comfortable enough to let me run those meetings. Then my next position was conference services manager at the Doubletree here in Spots. I think it's now called Gallery One. It used to be the Double Tree Guest Suites Galleria on Sunrise in Fort Lauderdale. And I got deep in conference services. And conference services is typically taking care of the person once, or the client, once they have booked their event. So the sales manager would book it, turn it over to the conference services manager. Then we'd go through the menu and decoration and floor plan. And I would also have the opportunity to upsell. And from there, I went to catering sales manager. 
then regional sales manager for some Marriott properties, and then to director of sales, and then to regional director of sales. And my last position was uh, four hotels, three in Miami, one uh, by the Fort Lauderdale Airport, and that was corporate director of sales. So I say all that to say that I am committed to uh, events and hospitality, and I took the time to get formally, formally educated in it, and I also was trained by uh, popular brands with high standards, and I soaked everything up like I was a sponge, and they felt comfortable enough to give me leadership roles promote me, give me more than one task, because my answer was no, never no, I'm tired. It's always yes, or show me how and I'll do it and, you know, let's get it done. It brings me to today. So I bring that same passion, that same drive and energy to serve my clients today. My clients range from uh, people who are doing grand openings because my preference is corporate events so grand openings all the way to grand experiential affairs if you're just starting your business and you need to spread the word that you're open for business and you want to put your best foot forward I help you with that if you're an existing company that you've been in business for a while you have different programs you do throughout the year your trainings um, your leadership retreats, your conferences, your seminars, all of that, I can help with that. And I bring that passion that I have for learning, that can-do attitude, the yes and let's do it kind of a way of being so that my clients feel taken care of. They're supported by somebody who wants to be there. There's nothing that's, that's uh, off-putting as working with somebody who is letting you know by their way of being and their attitude that they don't want to be where they are right now like complainers that's absolutely not me I love what I do in fact <laughs> event planning run, runs through my brain my veins all of it I think about it morning noon and night and I think of creative ways to help customers so if you are new to your business I show you how to not only do a grand opening but monetize your event strategize your event I help you with event marketing and I help set you up so that you'll have resources and client lists to market to after this whole grand opening extravaganza is done so that you can start making money with your business immediately um, the events I do, I'm a planner by, that's my main thing, I plan. So that means I would go out and get the client, uh, find out what they want, what kind of event it is, we'll create a budget, and I gather all the, the moving parts, all the vendors, put them together, and make sure that it's within the budget. If it's something that's a must have that is outside of the budget, then there's conversations between me and the client. And I make sure that, okay, so you want me to add this particular thing because you must have it or else. Then of course the budget is going to be exceeded. And as long as they're okay with that, we move forward. Or I find strategic ways to get the thing in, but removing something else or scaling down on something else. I'm strategic about it so that the client will get what they want within reason. I am strong in logistics, so I know how to find the right venue for you, a place that can accommodate your guests comfortably and is easy to find, has the elements you're looking for, does it have a kitchen, is there a private room that you can use for a green room, are there more than one spaces that you'll have access to, is there an outside space, is there a plan B inside space, all of that. All the logistics is what I do. 
I'm very big on safety. I uh, created uh, a feature of my events. It's called a pandemic mitigation station. And I know this whole pandemic madness, we're over it already, but we can't ignore it because people are dying. And so I have at my events a station that has all the masks and sanitizers and a thermometer. And the person that's standing at the station is dressed properly, masks, gloves. They have information on paper. So if somebody happens to be exhibiting symptoms, they can recognize that and then they know what, what steps to take where's the nearest hospital, all that is gonna be on the information at that station. So that's what I do for my clients. So you know who I am, you know how I got started, and you know what I sell. So as, as I mentioned before, I'm a planner, but I can also decorate. So I'm gonna stand up and show you this tablescape that I have behind me, and then we'll talk about that. So we're going with a pink and deep lavender color scheme. This is great for a wedding, a baby shower, a bridal shower, an anniversary dinner, um, romantic dinner, all the things soft and lovely and loving. That's what I exude here with the tablescape. And the main accents are deep lavender, pastel pink. There's touches of deep pinks in the backdrop just to give some kind of a pop of color. And then I accent what's on the table in gold because pink goes well with gold. And I didn't want it to be too matchy matchy. Not that anything is wrong with that, but I wanted your eyes to be wandering to different places. So your eyes are here at the table, you go up to the candles and then the backdrop, and then there's the light curtain in the background. All right. Um, I went with a sponge uh, design on the charger. So it's not your regular circle. It has irregular edges and it's gold. The napkin is white just for contrast and the napkin ring is gold with some bling on the ribbon. All right, there it is. Definitely wedding, baby shower, bridal shower, anniversary dinner, romantic dinner, all that lovely goodness. So another thing I do for my events is um, I infuse a little bit of spirituality. And that just means that I'm sensitive to energies. Uh, I for sure don't want any negative energy near your event. So before I bring in my uh, items into the event space, of course, with the client's permission, we have a conversation first. I smudge the venue. That means I create a bundle of herbs tied together, typically white sage, just organic, lavender, sometimes thyme. I do rose petals, sometimes rosemary, uh, eucalyptus, and I bind it all together. And I burn it and walk through the space. And as I walk through the space, I'm calling in uh, joy, connectedness, ease, fun, safety, all the things that you want to have a fantastic event uh, energetically. And then I have my people, of course, all the doors and windows are open. So all the negative energy goes out and all the positive energy comes in. And then we decorate all is well with the world and everyone's happy. Let me tell you how we can connect together. If you would like to have a meticulously curated and logistically sound event, email me at info at myproeventplanners.com. 
I am also on Instagram at Melody D. Dixon. I'm on LinkedIn at Melody Dixon. Email me, you'll find me. I'm all over the internet. In the signature of my email, all my social media is connected there, so you could click and find me there anyway. All right. Uh, if you have any questions about events, go ahead and post in the comments uh, any questions about who I am, where I'm from, my experience, my qualifications, because there are some people who just figure if they have a business card, then they're an event planner. And I don't want you to be at risk for that. You should get someone who is invested enough to get some form of training so that when you put your trust and your monies in their hands, you're sure that you're getting what you pay for. All right, so uh, let's connect. Uh, the link to my calendar is in the description of this live. I give complimentary um, consultations, like an event discovery call. So if you're having an event, if you have a question, reach out, we'll jump on a Zoom or over the phone or text, whatever you're comfortable with, or WhatsApp, what else? Text, WhatsApp, Zoom, phone. We'll, we'll talk it out, okay? I'll be here next week, Wednesday at 8 p.m. We're gonna talk about another big three.